Hey guys, it's Justin here with Summit Racing, and we get it. Working around automotive electrical can be pretty intimidating. In fact, we've even heard stories of mechanics with decades of experience shying away from even the most basic electrical repair jobs. So for this one-on-one -on -one style video, we're gonna show you the top 10 tools you absolutely must have for working in and around vehicles electrical systems. Let's dive in. So the first thing on our list is a test light. Test lights are handy for checking fuses, light sockets, and pretty much anywhere else you need to ensure you have reliable 12 volt power from your battery. So what we have here is our Summit Racing Digital Circuit Tester, and it's super simple to use. If it lights up, bingo, you've got power. If it doesn't, then you need to figure out why. Maybe a blown fuse, a broken wire, a bad relay, or even a faulty connector. So when diagnosing electrical stuff, you need to start moving backwards in your circuit along the wiring until you find the problem. Number two on our list is powered circuit testers. Now we showed you guys the basic test light and this does fine for a lot of people, but we also wanted to show you guys the latest and greatest in circuit testing technology and that's a powered circuit tester. Now the particular model we're showing you today is the Power Probe 3. Not only does it function as a test light, but it also tells you how many volts it's going through the wire and it can also tell you if it's a power or ground. And my favorite feature of all is it has this cool little rocker switch here that gives you the ability to feed power and ground into a circuit to test relays, bulbs, and just about anything else you can think of. And it's even got a nice little resettable breaker so you don't burn this thing up. They really thought of it all when they were making the power probe. So we're gonna move on from the power probe into another diagnostic tool, and that's the multimeter. Don't freak out if you're new to troubleshooting here. A multimeter certainly looks complicated, but you don't need an engineering degree to use its most basic functions. For starters, you can use a multimeter to check continuity. Sort of like a test light we talked about earlier, but better. If you hear a beep or see resistance on the meter, you're good to go. If you see zero on the meter and you have an open circuit, then it's time to move backwards in your circuit and find out why. The other function of a multimeter is also voltage testing. It simply tells you how much battery voltage you have. Knowing your battery voltage is kind of crucial so you can diagnose a parasitic draw. So if your battery is getting drawn down and your car is going dead, you can use this to find out why, or you can make sure your alternators charging and the regulators working properly. So this is a really great tool and it can do all sorts of stuff for you. So we're gonna move on from diagnostic tools into some hand tools. So the first hand tool I'm gonna to show you guys are wire strippers. And you don't have to make do with a razor blade or a set of scissors when installing connectors or splicing wires. If I haven't set in enough yet, you always wanna use the right tool. A good wire stripping tool like these Summit Racing wire strippers lets you cleanly strip away insulation on assorted wire gauges without damaging the wire's conductor underneath. It's very common for a bad connection to be caused by a poor stripping job, so don't overlook the importance of a reliable wire stripping tool. Next on our list is the often overlooked humble wire crimper. And they're overlooked because folks often think they can do this job with say a pair of pliers or even a hammer and a punch. But don't let that be you. A good crimp ensures a reliable electrical connection between the wire and the connector, and these Summit Racing ratcheting crimpers do just that. And they're particularly important in an automotive context where connectors may be subject to shock, vibration, rain, road grit, or even moisture. So moving on from the ratchet and crimpers, next we're gonna go into a soldering iron and solder. Right along the crimp tool should be soldering iron and solder. If you're not familiar with soldering, think of it like gluing electrical connections together using a melted alloy called solder. Soldering does take some practice and skill to master, but can yield some excellent connections once you get the hang of it. We like to use our Milwaukee M12 soldering iron for most of our on-vehicle repairs for its portability, and an ECG Products J60 for benchtop repairs and harness work. Another tool that goes along soldering is a set of helping hands. These little gadgets have plenty of nicknames, but you commonly hear them referred to as helping hands. We get ours from ECG products and they're a must have when you're soldering wires, but they have plenty of other uses too. In fact, we like to use them when we're pulling wires through vehicles because of the cool little clips on the end can help hold wires when you're pulling them to prevent them going from like say through the firewall or into dropping into a door panel. These are a time saver as much as they are a frustration saver. Next on our list are two tools that go hand in hand and that's a heat gun and heat shrink sleeve. When you're soldering wires together, it's important to cover and insulate the bare joint to ensure the bare joint doesn't come in contact with anything else and potentially cause an electrical short circuit. 
We're using our Summit Racing brand heat shrink kit and a Porter Cable adjustable heat gun to not only cover the joint, but make it a little bit stronger while keeping corrosion out as well. Heat sleeving like this also works well on crimped ends. Oh, and if you're splicing wires together, make sure you slip the sleeve on before you begin soldering. Trust me on this. Next on our list is good old electrical tape. And the fact is that sometimes you're not gonna be able to use shrink sleeve in those instances, and you're gonna wanna use good old fashioned electrical tape. Quality electrical tape here, like our 3M Super 88, offers the same benefits of electrical insulation and perhaps gives you the same flexibility for some other oddball electrical jobs. And as an added bonus, electrical tape has some other uses, like mild gasketing, tying wire loom together, or even preventing rubbing between components. Last on our list are test leads. When you want to test an electrical connection before you splice, solder, or crimp it together, how about mocking up an accessory before you start running wires? A few test leads can help you out. These are both Summit Racing brand sets of test leads, and this one even has a cool retractable case, and it's incredibly valuable for testing circuits and troubleshooting electrical problems. Just remember all these wires are relatively thin and as such can't handle a lot of current. So don't use them for testing, say, a starter motor or other electrical parts with a high amp draw. So there you have it, 10 essential tools for working on automotive electrical systems. Now, by no means this is a complete list, but you can find all the links to the tools we showed you today in the description below, so you can start on outfitting your workshop. Now, if there's any big tools we missed here, let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos from Summit Racing, as well as vehicle features, celebrity interviews, and other stuff for gearheads. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.